Fox News host Judge Jeanine Pirro on Monday of this week actually came out with what might be the most disgusting conspiracy theory ever about the women who have accused Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. Here it is. There's an additional point. I have never seen anything like this in my career in over three decades. I've never seen so many repressed memory cases in my life, especially against one guy. Yeah. So the question is, if there's something uh, awry going on, was there hypnosis? Are they using confabulation? And I don't want to get into the weeds here, but you know what? This is the kind of thing where they have a right to true cross-examination. But the Democrats don't want true cross-examination because they want Kavanaugh to go first. So that's right. Maybe it didn't happen. Maybe all of these women got hypnotized into thinking that this man did this to them. Now that would have to be one of the most well orchestrated conspiracies to ever happen here on American soil. And yet judge Janine Pirro, former district attorney had the audacity and or stupidity to put that out there in the ether and actually suggest that to Fox news viewers who I am sure absolutely ate it up. They probably at this point do believe that these women have been hypnotized and given false memories of a rape that they think never actually happened. But that's not the only disgusting thing that Janine Pirro said there. Right at the end, she's talking about, you know, this isn't fair. You know, th there's no uh, 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 due process. Listen, this isn't a trial. I, I mean, Republicans need to get that through their thick little skulls. This isn't a trial. It's a job interview. So yeah, you can be denied a job for all kinds of reasons and it's 100% legal. That's what Kavanaugh is going through right now. It's not a trial, although he is under oath and he's lied multiple times under oath. This is just to see if the man is even qualified enough to hold the position. And clearly based on the evidence we've seen, and even if you exclude every woman who has accused him of sexual misconduct, the man still isn't qualified. That's what's so disgusting about all this. The sexual misconduct alone should have been enough to force him to withdraw his nomination, right? I mean, at this point we have four women now, four women who have come forward. Many of them have multiple witnesses too. And they say that, Hey, my witnesses are willing to come to the Senate and testify, but Republicans won't even let them do that. Were all of those witnesses hypnotized too, judge Jeanine? Is that what happened? I mean, are, are Democrats out there running this massive hypnosis conspiracy? We got a van traveling around the country to hypnotize anybody and accusing anyone else, a powerful Republican of sexual misconduct. I mean, I haven't seen the hypnotizing van, although at the same time, maybe I was hypnotized into thinking I never saw it. You are absolutely insane. I mean, you're insane. You're crazy. There is something wrong with you. Please go seek help. Just like that time you went traipsing through the woods thinking you were going to find Hillary Clinton. You're not normal and you need to be observed by medical professionals, Judge Janine. In the meantime, I suggest you stay out of this kind of political analysis about what may or may not have happened in Brett Kavanaugh's past and just let it play out the way it needs to play out. Unfortunately, Republicans are never going to give us that opportunity and we're going to have to wait for Democrats to retake the Senate so that we can finally launch these investigations and then remove Brett Kavanaugh from whatever bench he's sitting on at the time.